Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani Now this is one of my guest bedrooms. I shared with you guys last year how I refreshed this room by adding brand new linen, brand new pillows, and a brand new throw. I wanted my guests to feel comfortable and inviting when they came and they stayed in this room. But what you did not see is that my guests couldn't possibly feel at home because I had occupied this closet. Now, my guests would come and they had nowhere to put their clothes because your girl has a problem. These are like all of my summer and spring entertaining items. And at one time, it was in some sort of um, order, but right now it is chaotic. So, so that my guests can come in and feel at home and have a proper place to hang up their items if they choose to do so. I am going to purge this area. I'm going to organize this area. And most of all, I am going to create a place that they can put their um, suitcases as well as any items that they would want to hang up. Now here I'm showing you most of these items are items that I use in the spring and summer. Like I stated before, I have some items there for 4th of July, my linen, some paper lanterns, a lot of my paper plates and plastic cups and things like that. So I want to minimize all of this and the best way to do it here is to begin to separate items of what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to um, store and what I'm going to throw away. So here I'm sharing with you um, the items, me taking all of the items out of the bag, out of the closet, and I'm just going through everything and deciding if I'm going to keep everything or not. I was watching my girl multifaceted me here. She kept me company as I clean. And if you um, don't know her please go and check out her channel sonia is very very entertaining and she has a really great content i will leave her information in the description box below so you can check her out so yeah she kept me company while i was cleaning up this mess now as you see i had this that huge bag and it had all of my linen in it and so there was some linen that were out and i'm keeping all of this i use it so i'm just gonna place all the linen back into these bags i like keeping these bags when you get your comforters they're great to recycle and use in different areas and back again to this closet now what i realized here was i needed to have some type of organization where I knew where everything was, but because I don't have that space in this house, and this is the last place that I have that I can um, store things, I need to have just have everything just to one side. And so in this closet here, it's a very long closet. It's not deep, but it's very long. And so I'm going to utilize one side of this area. Now what you also see in here, I have some stationery, I have um, printing paper, and a lot of napkins. So we're gonna consolidate all of that. Okay guys, so this is the space. This is everything that was in this closet. And actually all of it is entertaining related in one way or another most of it is the only thing that really wasn't was these are some supplies some office supplies here and um some of that i'm going to give away put in i'm um, taking drop it off to goodwill this suitcase here belongs to my niece so i'm gonna give that to my sister when i see her um today so she's gonna get that and um everything else over here is some of Puda's um trophies that she's won and one of them 
I broke so I am going to um, E6000 it back together I had this mirror over here that I purchased with my sister I don't know if you guys remember this mirror from last year here and so it I've still had it I have not taken it over to my sister's house yet because I, I, I just I, I don't know what she's doing but it's been in that closet and so the mirror evidently is shifted on to Puda's um, trophy and it broke it she won um, some academic trophies she's won trophies for when she was in drill team and she competed in um, Los Angeles and this is one right here and this is the one here that I broke this is one for drill team and that was in 2004 for um, a dance competition in Las Vegas so um so this is some stuff I have here on my desk and so a lot of this stuff I'm gonna just put stuff the things that I'm gonna keep I'm going to put them in, in storage and um, set them up in here neatly the other things that's going away I'm going to put them over into the hall because I'm going to be taking them downstairs um, and they're going to go into my car today because we're going to make a trip to Goodwill today. And um, I have some things over there on that shelf. Those candelabras. Um, one is from the Goodwill and the other one is from Z Gallery. And then I haven't gotten the things up from up there yet. So that's next. But I wanted you to see down here. So we need to... Um, repaint this and in here so I think Mr. B and I will repaint this it won't be today but it will be coming up very soon and we're gonna repaint this here and I've gotten everything from over here and then over here is some more um, office supplies and I honestly have not used any of this stuff down here so I'm gonna take especially that box right here I'm going to take everything out of that and I am going to either take it to work because they will use it at my job or um, yeah, I'm just going to take it to work because I don't think there's anything in there that can be used at um, the Goodwill. And then here's two boxes of paper from my old employer when they closed, um, I took some paper and I, it was good for when Puda was in school and in college. I'm just dumping it here because I'm gonna come in here and um, vacuum. But it was good when she was in college so that she would have paper and things like that for her papers and things that she was writing. But now that she's graduated and everything, that paper is here. So I'm also, what I will probably do with some of this is I'm gonna take this, some of that over to my nephew. I'll probably take this box here take that over to my nephew around the corner as well as I had a bag with some folders and some more um, spiral notebooks that Pete Puda had when she was in college I think and so they're just sitting in here so yes I'm gonna get rid of all of that stuff so now what I'm gonna do is just gonna separate what I'm gonna keep what I'm gonna give away and um, then we are going to go from there Okay guys, so here is my bedroom again. And all the junk is th going wherever it's going. It's going to somebody else. So right here in this bag here, those are the items that I put in that bag and I'm gonna take them to work. We can never be um, um, too, we have too much um, supplies and I can't use them here. So if I take those to work, somebody will definitely use them. And then over here, Temporarily, I have this um, shredder and I have some um, labels and things right here. Those are actually going to go in that bag. They're going to go back to work with me. But this shredder here, um, I'm happy that I pulled it out because it's the time of year that we shred all of our old stuff. And so I'm going to use that. We had another shredder that I trashed because I broke it. I put too many papers in there, but this one... Um, I think we'll be good I think it shreds like 10 or 15 pages at a time so we'll be good so I'll make sure that I will not 
um, break this one and Mr. B will be happy that this one works. So I'm really happy about that. So I pulled that out of this closet and now guys, the reveal of this closet. It is 150 times better, but it's still not quite where I want it to be, but at least my guests can now put their clothes in here. Okay, so here it is. And yes, I have this stuff still up here. It's better than it was, I guess. Some things I took out and put in the bags. These items here, actually, I need to put them in boxes. And I don't have any place to put them downstairs and I'm not currently using them right now. And they need to be polished. So it's a lot of things that's going on right here, but I'm gonna get to it very soon. And so here are all the boxes here. And then back there is Puda's Barbies as well as her um, awards and trophies that she's won. And then, like I said here, this we're gonna paint. So it's, up here doesn't need to be painted, but I'm gonna probably paint this a real like soft, white eggshell color so it'll be pretty close to what it is now so it'll be more presentable and then here is on this side I know it's really dark now it is like two and a half hours later but this is everything and so I have here at the bottom those are all of my linens that I use here's some 4th of July decor and here is all of my some paper plates and napkins and plastic cups and things like that I know it's really dark in here and then um, I have a lot of these um, lanterns here the paper lanterns so I keep those and I have some other ones that I'm gonna put in here and then here is a lot of my caddies and I also put some candelabras in here actually I want I'm gonna get some more of the um, larger um, containers like this and I'm gonna put all that stuff in there and then under what you can't see up under there is a large um, blue container and it has all of my melamine and all my plastic um, serveware and plates things like that for the upcoming season and then I have some things right here also you can see like the hamburger or the hot dog um, baskets as well as the um, food tents right here so right here in this bag if you can believe it is some um, um, something for Cinco de Mayo for Valentine's Day and then in there is some more Christmas decor that I did not use this year and then right here is my mirror for my um, for my sister's house that um, when she comes, I'm gonna make sure she gets it and get it up out of here. And then right there is a, a tent light that I have that I have never used and pulled about it for me two years ago. So I have that here and I'm gonna start using that also. So guys, I wanted to come on and show you this part of my spring cleaning. I'm just going to different parts of my house that needed work. This is definitely one area that needed work. And if we had guests this time, um, we could actually put their clothes in here and they could actually put their luggage in here and it would be okay. They wouldn't have to worry about anything. So guys, that's it for this video. Stay tuned to my next video for I will be sure sharing with you another spring cleaning I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.